What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome, press subscribe, stick around for more detailing videos. But anyways, today we're gonna do a nice little walk around of my detail trailer. Everyone has been asking me, how does my trailer look, what's my setup, and how do I run this business? So we got the trailer all backed up here, ready to show you guys what the setup is looking like. So to start it off, we got the F-150 as a work truck. It's a 2018 F-150 Platinum with the FX4 package. And right behind it, what we tow is a 5x8 enclosed trailer. This trailer is also a 2018 made by Look. Look trailers are pretty good. I like this one because they have the side door, have the double doors in the back. It's got the diamond plating up front. It's got a bunch of LEDs on it, as you can see from up here. You get the back brake lights, side markers, reflectors up at the bottom as well as an amber and red light for side markers. And on the back of the truck, as you guys can see, we got the Instagram and logo stamped on back there, so when I'm driving without this trailer, everyone can identify what my company is. On the trailer, we got the big logo, some writing here just saying what we, what we do. We got quality detailing, paint correcting, ceramic coating, phone number, and Instagram. All this work was done by Steve at Viral Vinyl Works. I'll tag him below. He does an amazing job. You can get anything you want done. On the back here, we got also same thing on the sides. Instagram, phone number, and services. On both doors, when I open the doors, you can still see them. Opposite side and symmetrical to the other side. Keep it clean and simple. And a lot of people always ask me, why did I choose a trailer instead of a van? I think a trailer is the best setup because you can have more room and once I open it up inside, you can see the way I have it set up. You have a top layer, you have a lower layer, and it gives you more room to work with rather than just a van which you're very limited with space and you can't really do much to it. I've seen some awesome van setups, I've seen some awesome trailer setups so I figured the trailer would be more utilized for me. And when you're on a mobile job, you don't want to leave anything behind. You want to be able to bring everything with you, whether it's the paint correction stuff, the ceramic coatings, whatever you need on a job, you want to be able to have it with you. And that's why I chose the trailer setup. It has its pros and cons. One of the cons would be like not being able to park somewhere because you know, you have this big trailer behind you, you have the truck also. So you're about like almost 26 to 30 feet long and you know, having a park place is, is it's hard, you know. I can't get lunch to a lot of places because I just can't find somewhere to park and I don't want to block up 15 different parking spots. And enough talking, let's just get straight to the setup. So right off the bat, you guys can see I got the generator there, got the two buckets and a wheel bucket. We got the pressure washer hose set up up top, got 100 gallons of water, and the nice pressure washer. This is a Honda GC160. We got the trash can there. You know, when you're cleaning out a car, you're gonna want a trash can by your side, and this is very convenient. You got the doors open. And we also got the CR Spotless, you know, to make spotless water when you're filling up this tank. And when you're a mobile detailer, you're gonna need spotless water because on hot, sunny days like this, especially in San Diego, you know, spotless water is a must. And on the sides of the doors, you have three racks of products, all by Adams Polishes, besides a very few, such as the Car Pro Reload, which if you saw my last video, you know I love this stuff because on ceramic coated cars, it does an amazing job in rejuvenating it and bringing the shine back to life. We got the full setup here, ready to go. And on the opposite door, we got more products. Also three shelves to keep everything organized. And you know, it's very convenient, like I said, having everything ready to go like this and organized makes your process a lot more efficient. And if you saw this thing, you're wondering what this was. This is my homemade foam cannon type of thing. So I had the Adams big bottle, you know, I liked it. You can hold a lot more water and soap so you can do more cars without having to worry to refill it. But the issue was, was it did not fit in one of these. I really wanted my setup to be super efficient, so I put it in one of these little bottles that they give you, the 16 ounce bottles. Attached the cap to it to see if it would work. And, you know, I tested it on my truck and it worked amazing. So instead of having to carry around that big bottle, I decided to use this. It works a lot better. 
Yeah, you can't do too many cars as you would with a bigger bottle, but it's cleaner, it's more efficient, and you can keep track of how much soap you're using, actually. So start with the generator that I use. It's a Honda 2000. This gets the job done for what I need. I don't need too many watts. I don't need too many amps to be able to push power through. All I have electricity for is a vacuum and blower. And when I first pull up to the job, I take out the generator. I take out the two buckets or three buckets and I reel out the hose. And as everyone knows, I must have a two bucket method going. So you got the wheel bucket. You got the rinse bucket. And you got the wash bucket. And inside all these buckets have grit guards. If you don't know what a grit guard is, it's the thing at the bottom that traps the dirt under all the water. When you're doing a two bucket method, this keeps the dirt trapped in to the bottom under the grit guard and the clean water is above it so none of the dirt gets trapped into the wash mill before you wipe it on the next car. Like I said, one grit guard here, another grit guard here. And what else is on this one is something called a wash pad made by the Adams Polishes. You can scrub your washman across it and it relieves all the dirt out of the washman, making, making your life a lot easier. Inside the wheel bucket, we got all the tools for it. We got a wheel washman, we got the wheel woolies, tire shine applicator, and these things that go under your wheels to prevent any hoses from getting stuck under the tire. And if you wash your own car, you obviously know that, that extension cords and hoses always get stuck under there. I'll do a review on those later. But for now, here's the wheel bucket. So moving on to the trailer, which is why you guys came here to see the video. We got 100 feet of hose up here. I chose to use 100 feet of hose because it makes your life a lot easier. And like I said, I built this trailer for efficiency. We got spare hose to connect to a garden hose to the spotless water into the water tank. You can see all the plumbing I got here. We have a check valve to allow water to go only go one way. Got the plumbing. We got this extra line to fill up buckets, as you can see. Water will come out of that when I open that valve. And we got the main line going to the pressure washer. So the, one of the main issues I had with building this trailer was having this pressure washer be gravity fed. So I had to lift the water tank up off the ground to allow it to be higher than a pressure washer, allowing it to be gravity fed without any issues and no pumps needed to keep the water flowing through the entire system. And as you guys can see, we lifted it about five inches off the ground above the pressure washer, allowing for easy use. So that covers everything out in the back. We went over all the products. Well, not all the products, but you can kind of pause and go over them. I use only Adams polishes for my majority of the basic detail stuff on this side as well. So the way I have it labeled is all exterior products on this door and all interior products on that door. Moving on to the front, the side door, which is very convenient as well. If we open this up. We have more basic essentials such as the vacuum, blower, seat to sit on while you're doing tires and wheels, steamer, compressor, and polisher. My goal is to have all this stuff onto a shelf somewhere, so I have these little particle board things that I need to cut and mount, but you know, for now, it's just getting the job done. Spare tire in the back. And right here, we have one bucket for cleaner towels after a car and dirty towels. So these towels are mainly used for wheels and door jams. After I wash them, you know, they'll probably not come back to life. As for those ones, they might be able to be used again on another car rather than having to use a brand new one. And if we look above here, you see all the gallons of product that I use. I keep these on hand because, you know, you always run out of product while on a job. And like I said in the beginning, you're gonna want all your stuff with you to max, you want all your stuff with you so you can do a job no matter where you are without having any issues. We got these little storage bins, which are very nice for what I wanted them for. I would like to put bigger ones in here, but for now these will do, and I don't think I'll ever change them. When I ordered these things off of Amazon, I want to see the Rubbermaid bins. They looked a lot bigger in the pictures, so but, but when they came here, I realized how small they were, and I would like to put bigger ones, but I think I made them usable to where I don't need to purchase more. And the biggest question everyone asks me is, what towels do I use? Where do I buy my towels, and why do I like them? So all these towels are made by the rag company. I can link them down below. I will. I'm going to have a discount code for you guys here soon. Also, huge announcement. The rag company chose Genesis Detailing to be one of the ambassadors for the company for the third quarter. As in, like, they call it like a grand ambassador type of thing. I'll link, their I'll link their Instagram down below and you can read more about it. But 
I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff coming my way from them. They're sending me a lot of product, a lot of towels. They also mentioned doing some sort of giveaway for you guys, so they're gonna give me more stuff on the side to give away to you guys. So stick around, stay tuned for more videos about that. I'm gonna be doing a lot, a lot of product reviews with them. You know, like I said, they're an amazing company. I buy all their stuff by the bulk. I'm super stoked for this opportunity. I don't know why they selected me. I didn't really ask questions. You know, I have submitted an application along with like thousands of other people worldwide. And you know, they only chose 10 people from around the world. And I'm supporting the San Diego County area, which is awesome. Thank you for all the support. But as you can see in these ones, I store towels. These ones are the super soft ones for paint. To the right of it, we got more towels. These are Terry towels rather than the, these ones that are ultra plush. These are also really well for paint, removing waxes, while these are good for final buffing. And when you're using any microfiber towel, you're always going to use a detail spray of some sort or a spray of wax. Never use it dry. To the right of the towels, we got exterior products, aka clay bars, masking tape, and wax. Steel wool is good for any sort of aluminum or chrome finishes that you want to use. This is number 0000, zero four zeros. Right above it, we have interior tools such as brushes for carpets these soft bore head and brushes to remove any dust from the air vents in between crevices. We got the gloves to keep your hands clean to not have all the germs get on you and get sick. And up above on the very top surface, we got foam finishing pads for the polisher. We got microfiber cutting and polishing pads. The orange ones are single stage cutting pads and the red ones are for heavy cutting. To the left here, we got the foam polishing slash cutting pad. These are pretty universal to what you want to do. You can get a lot of cutting power on them, but you can also finish off really well. So that basically covers this side of the trailer. Like I said, I'm not done finishing this thing off. I want to add more stuff in here, more shelving, get all this stuff off the ground so I can walk in here and kind of search around for the things I need. Oh, and on this door, we got a hook for all the extension cords. That should cover everything in the trailer. You know, you saw the products that I used. A lot of Adams polishes. I love the company. Their customer service is absolutely amazing. Their products really work and they have a lot of videos online to show you how their stuff works if you don't know how. I'm gonna start posting more videos of how to use their stuff. You'll kinda catch on as I make more videos because in my videos I'm gonna throw on little tips and tricks of how to use their products. Because on every car, the situation's different. So I don't have to use a certain product on this kind of car, but I'll use it on the other car. And I'll explain why later on, but for now, Thank you guys for watching. If you did like this video, give me a nice thumbs up. Smash the subscribe button. Stick around for more detailing videos. And let me know what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see detailed vlogs? Do you guys want to see how-to videos? So let me know. Leave your comments below. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Thank you for watching.